Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. To be honest, filming feels so foreign right now because I skipped a week because I was traveling for Playlist Live. If you can't tell, this is not my normal arrangement. I am actually in Florida right now filming this video. I was just at Playlist Live and there will be more videos about that coming to you soon, but today I wanted to talk to you about being misgendered. What being misgendered basically is, is when you are gendered improperly to the way you identify. This can happen because your presentation might not match the gender that you identify as, or because people people tend to assume genders. And it's something that happens at a different frequency for different trans people. Personally, I tend to get misgendered a lot, and I think the reason behind that is because I present very androgynous and somewhat feminine. So people assume that any ounce of feminine traits mean that I am female. And this can happen for the other way around too. This week in particular, I have experienced being misgendered a lot because I was at a theme park and I don't necessarily look hyper masculine all the time, especially when it's hot outside and I am tired and trying to get from place to place. And let's be honest, I don't really ever look hyper masculine. I mean, come on, I'm wearing a flower crown today. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight on what being misgendered kind of feels like and how to cope with that. Outright, it feels like being betrayed, it feels like being mistreated, and it feels like being invalidated. Whether these things are true or not, it's the kind of emotion that kind of surges through my body when I get misgendered. Now don't get me wrong, this could be different for somebody else. I can only speak for my personal experiences and I cannot speak for other trans people. All I know is that when I get misgendered, I tend to feel really bad about it. it feels feels as though even though I know my identity, not everyone else does, and that is the case, but sometimes it kind of sucks. And it really sucks on days that I'm really trying to present as masculine. Because it kind of indicates that I'm not coming across the way I want to come across, and especially when on days that I'm trying to present masculine, I'm not coming across as male and I'm not being gendered properly, it kind of feels sucky. And honestly, being misgendered is just led to by the assumption of someone's gender identity by their perception. I've said this before, I'll say it again, someone's gender may be completely different from how they present. Someone could be wearing a dress and present as male, someone could be wearing cargo shorts and a snapback and present as female. They could look like one gender, look like one gender, and be another, you have no idea. And with that, you don't know someone's pronouns. So usually when someone is misgendered, it's because the person who misgendered you is assuming your pronouns. And while that's not super great, it's not something we can click our fingers and change the world with. But I feel it's something that trans and cis people alike can work towards eliminating. If we work to try and break down the gender barriers and gender stereotypes and the assumption of someone's gender based on how they look, the world could be a better and safer place for all of us. And here's to those of you who are being misgendered. You don't have to pass as cis to be real or valid. You don't have to look like a guy or a girl to be real or valid. You can dress and look and present and you could be misgendered every single day of your life. You could live in a situation where your gender is not respected and that does not change the fact that you are still real and you are still valid. So yeah, being misgendered can really suck, but you've gotta remember that you gotta stay true to who you are and if you know who you are and you know your pronouns, nobody can tell you otherwise. All right, guys, that's all I have for you this week. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave your pronouns down in the comments below. If you have any questions about trans stuff in real time, you can follow me on all of my social media, at the Riley Kyle. ask me on there, my Twitter, my Tumblr. I'll always answer your questions. I'm here to educate, and I might make some of them into a video. And while this is being uploaded, I am still in Florida, which means I have just posted a ton of vlogs from while I'm down here, so if you want so you can go over to my side channel, which is linked below, and check out all of my vlogs from being in Florida, including my vlogs from Playlist Live. And on a new note, I have officially started a patron account, so if you feel like this is something that you'd want to support me and this kind of content that I am making, you can click the link in the description and you can go and figure out how to support me and the content so I can continue making it as good, if not better, than it already is. All right, that's it. That's all I've got. I love you guys and I will see you on Thursday. Bye.